Hello everyone, Strungecast here. This is episode 4, How You Met Your Other. I'm Andre. And I'm Kirsten. And she's on a different mic, so hopefully it still sounds okay. Let us know in the comments. Basically this weekend I decided to plump for the Rode uh, Wireless Pro. So she's on a lav mic, first time. And it means that she can be more free and also read from the iPad, which is big. But when you've got a massive disc in front of you, that kind of hinders that, doesn't it? It definitely, definitely does. So we'll see. You have to let us know if I suddenly sound awful or crackly. Too quiet. Yes. Yeah. So today's topic, how you met your other. We had some lovely stories come in. I think we've got three, if I'm yes. not mistaken. We do. Um, which are you going to start with first, my dear? So we'll start with Tara and Scott and some of the stories are quite long, so I'm just going to do my best to try and summarise. So if you're listening and you hear your story and I've missed parts out, I'm really sorry. We loved them and they're really, really sweet. But obviously Definitely. for the purposes of the podcast, we have to try and slim it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, so Scott and Tara, uh, who met playing a, an online game, Mud, which yeah. if you don't know, like I didn't, is multi-user dungeon and um, they were both players before and had a mutual friend um, who Scott saw a picture of Tara through this mutual friend and asked about her but they didn't actually end up meeting till a little while later um, and through the game sort of got talking and around Valentine's Day of 97 decided to meet up and Scott drove all the way from Michigan to South Carolina which I don't know how far that is because I am terrible with geography in terms we, we are terrible we are terrible with geography for the US but I'm assuming it was significant drive um, to spend some time and they spent some more time together had their first date at the movies seeing first contact and Tara says, yes, we are both Trekkies. And in, it's a good film, by the way. Yeah. yeah. In 97, um, they, she went to go see him in Michigan. And in 98, around Valentine's Day again, they, uh, Scott asked Tara to marry him. And in 99, June, they got married. And they actually had their vow renewal ceremony on the Star Trek cruise, no way. Um, which I think is amazing. That's cool. That's uh, really this nice. This past February. And um, they have two boys, I believe. And yeah. yeah, just very sweet, happy couple. So that's sort of just a, a very quick summary of them together. It's a good one, that. Yeah. Next, we have Richard and Pascal. And I'm apologize profusely if I've not pronounced that correctly. Um, we both weren't sure. Yes. So we're going with Pascal because that's how the internet told us you say it. Because I know a female, no, I know only one female Pascal and that's Richard's Pascal, but I know male Pascal too. Yeah. So we hope we get it right. We hope so. Um, they also met through another online game um, called Unitopia which I'd never heard of, and I don't think you had either? No. No. Oh. Um, they have a bit of an age gap, so 31 and 47. And, well, at the time of meeting, I believe. So, you know, whatever the ages are now. And they were both in tricky positions. I believe that Richard had um, broken up from a relationship and had a job change and was living near his mum and Pascal was in a relation in a, in a marriage with a daughter but perhaps wasn't as happy as she had once been yeah um and after meeting in this game Unitopia uh they connected you know played started talking spent many evenings falling asleep on the phone which we Oh, used didn't to do we do ourselves. that? Didn't we do that? We did. How many nights did we fall asleep and wake up to a, a, an empty line empty. on the phone? Actually, you know, it's funny because had it been a few years earlier than that, it would have cost a lot of money. 
I had Vonage back then, I still do. I still have the same number I had when we got together. And it cost me nothing to be on the phone to Thank you. Goodness. It was great. It was hours. The only hours thing it and cost, hours and hours. It was only cordless phone battery. Mm. That's what suffered the most. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, what I did want to read out because I just thought this was really sweet. Um, as Richard said, while most players presented themselves there as slim, warrior-like avatars, Richard noticed something different. A plump panther woman with green eyes crossed his path, a character that immediately caught his attention. And I just thought that was lovely. Just ah, a really sweet different. moment, you know. And cute. <laughs> yeah, very cute. So they met and, um, yeah, spent more time together. And I think then both decided... Pascal decided to end her marriage and um, they got together, had a, a tricky time, you know, divorce and everything is, is very up and down, yeah. but they, six years has now passed since they first met and they are now planning their wedding, which this is, so is good. amazing. This so is that great. Look at that. Is their story. And our last one, um, from Amy and she said that her other half um, that they had met but in a, they had met seven years ago but fate had other ideas and her partner had ended up with somebody else but sadly in 2020 um, she lost that partner and four years on Amy decided to move to Hereford and they both met up and discovered that they still had chemistry and um, they've now moved in together. And two weeks ago, she proposed. So that's really sweet. So congratulations, Amy and Sam. See, look at all these lovely stories coming in. Yeah. There's more out of, you, of you out there. I know there are. I would love to hear your stories because it'd be nice to have like a second section to this. Absolutely. A return. Um, there are couples I, I know of that have told me they're in the past, but I need them in written form so that we can read them because they're cool. So them's, them's the stories of the week. Yeah, thank you for sending them in. They've been really, really sweet to read. Yes. And uh, if you have any extras that you want us to know or things that we missed out, let us know for next time. Um, luckily, this week was kind of um, light on, on the information. There's three of you. And we got all three in. You know, if it gets crazy, it'd be hard. But we're still small. <laughs> yes. Podcast growing. But it's it's fun, you know. I mean, uh, I'm having fun anyway. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> she, she says. Um, now, we, we, we come back home and we talk about our weekend briefly. It was a good weekend. We've had a lovely weekend. It's been Alice's 12th birthday on Saturday. Yeah. And she had just... The most amazing day um some people may have seen the little clip of video that i have posted if you follow us on social media um if not we surprised her with a trip to disneyland in paris um later this month and she had absolutely no idea nope she found out by a hidden message inside her birthday cake that she only found when she cut the cake and she was so overwhelmed and so overjoyed that she actually cried. <laughs> she had a few tears. Um, had no idea, totally didn't expect it. So that was just the most amazing surprise I think we've ever- Given her. Given, yeah, or, or either of our children. Yeah. Um, obviously it's, you know, partly for Jake as well, but he was in on the surprise. He knew he's helped plan it and- He's good like part that. Of it. He is very good. I've sent Jake out to Amazon and be like, hey, I need this, and I don't know what a picture of it would be like, and he sends me back links. He's like, chat Jake PT. <laughs> it's brilliant. I like yeah. it. But it's going to be nice. Um, we'll have You'll have tales when you get back. We will have so much to tell everybody and to share. I'm sure there'll be hours of videos and pictures and sounds. Yes. All kinds. Because yeah. the plan eventually going forward would be to insert some sounds of the of the trip into the podcast for you guys to listen to yeah. um, which i can do in post see i'm not going with them um i probably got something on that weekend anyway and uh that tends to be how it works is that the family go away and then i go away separately and actually 
people wonder why. My dad used to bug me about it. Mm. Didn't yeah. he just? I think if it's if that's not the norm for your family, you know, if you always go away together, then it does seem a bit strange, but it's what works for us. All the holidays that we've had previously with the children have been very child orientated. So I usually take the kids away and have done since Alice was a baby and even a couple of years when Jake was little. Yeah. And it's been to usually places in the UK and we have lots of dogs <laughs> because my mum has a dog, my aunt has a dog and now we have a dog. So there's dogs running around everywhere. We're usually somewhere in the middle of the country that doesn't have fantastic Wi-Fi, which obviously is not ideal for you, is it? I don't like that. No, you're, you wouldn't be overjoyed with all the dogs that run around and jump on everybody. And any activities that we do, certainly when the children were younger, would be farm parks and, you know, lots of little children running around. And it's not <laughs> ideal, it's not what you particularly enjoy. And so we just made the decision that it just wasn't worth dragging you all the way there to probably not really enjoy it. No. So I would take them away and you would stay here and have friends visit or whatever it was that you wanted to do. And now that they're older, obviously we can do more together. But with regards to Disney, we did discuss it at length. Yeah. But we decided that for the few rides that you would enjoy doing with Jake, like the roller coasters and things, the rest of it you probably wouldn't enjoy. It's long days, it's lots of walking around, it's lots of standing and waiting, lots of people, <clears throat> and it just wasn't something that you were particularly keen on doing, was it? Nine. Yeah, so it seems silly to spend all that money for something that you wouldn't necessarily enjoy that much. So we go, we gather all the sounds and videos and bring them back to share for you. It's good fun. Yeah. I spend that week usually working hard on music stuff uh, and seeing a few people and that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, having the house to myself. It's actually quite nice. Yeah. I enjoy that. No animals or children or wife bugging you. Well, <laughs> this year there were guinea pigs. But there your, were, but you know, they're Your contained. sister came and sorted that out. She did. It was good. I liked it. I know. And I got to play the piano any time of night. No, I didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> but we could have. That's us. It's a short one. I mean, compared to last time, that was 34 minutes. This will be quite short. Yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to add before we go away? I mean, I've got a cup of tea waiting, so that's fine. And I'm not going to spill it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no need to rub that in. No, uh, the carpet no, did I've that already. I've got nothing to share that that we can talk about. Not today. Not today. Not today. Another day. Another day. Yeah. Well, we have a topic planned for the next one if we can find the information we want. We do. We um, have a couple planned. Yeah. I think. Man, planning is good. It feels like we're actually doing something. <laughs> yeah. But also, again, if there are, like, the, after the first ones, and, you know, a few people commented and asked us a few questions, if there was anything you specifically wanted to know or wanted us to talk about then please you know do do post the comments and we'll try and include that yeah well channel 4 didn't find us very interesting but you guys seem to so <laughs> no, appreciate that we were on tv um, in 2017 mm. on a program called how to make your marriage work and because we made it work they found us very dull there were no cheating scandals or anything like that unlike the other couples Oh man. So they featured much more heavily than we did, didn't they? Oh yes. Yeah. We barely got any airtime at all, to be fair. Yeah. We've got a montage of that, but we can't show it on YouTube because Channel 4 locked it off. It's on Instagram though. They didn't lock it there. So somewhere on my account is a clip, a uh, six minute montage, I think, of our parts of that program. It was an hour long episode. We got six minutes of airtime, mm. roughly. There you go, strangers. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody. Thank you very much for listening.